Hi everyone, Jordan here and welcome once again to my channel where we discuss all things video games, books, TV and films. Please help me out by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, hitting that notification bell or just saying hi in the comments. The past two or three years have been amazing for remake games for the PlayStation. You had Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Spyro the Dragon and of course Demon's Souls Remake. What these remade games have done is really to modernize the experience, obviously starting with the gorgeous graphics, but also ensuring that they have the same elements that made them incredible in the first place. And in some cases, these remakes have enhanced the gameplay altogether and have delivered an exceptional gaming experience. So for this video, I will be sharing 10 games that I really want remade, and most of these games are in the PlayStation 1 or 2. You could argue that there should be more on this list, but I'm gonna stick to the games that I've played and have really made an impact on me. So here we go. The first game that I want remade is Final Fantasy VIII. I know, I know, there was a remaster that dropped recently with updated graphics, and while that game looks good, I still think Final Fantasy VIII deserves the remake that Final Fantasy VII had for the PS4. The game's mechanics were quite unique during that time, such as removing the use of magic points to cast spells, the junction system which allowed for a very wide range of customization options for your character, and also the Guardian Forces. While the game's plot is long and convoluted, it features incredible gameplay, plenty of memorable characters that make it one of my favorite Final Fantasy games of all time. Even though I salivate at seeing GF summons or the Balam Garden versus the Galbadia Garden in gorgeous 4K running at 120 frames per second, Final Fantasy VIII will probably never get a remake treatment that Final Fantasy VII did, but hey, a guy can dream. The second game I want remade is Suikoden 2. Okay, yes, it's another RPG, and yes, it features typical RPG elements like leveling up characters, spells, weapons, and random enemy encounters. It also features duels, one-on-one -on -one battles, and massive battles on the field, which is more like rock, paper, scissors. So what makes this game so special? It's the second game in the series of games, but many consider this as not only the best game in the series, but one of the best RPGs of all time. Like any great RPG series, it has an incredible story. It features two best friends, an unnamed hero and Joey Atreides, each get getting a half of a powerful rune, which is an item that is used in the game to cast powerful magic. The two eventually find themselves leading opposing armies, and that's what basically drives the story. There's intrigue, invasions, vampires, betrayals, heartbreak, and 108 characters for you to meet. They're called the 108 Stars of Destiny, and you need to recruit them to get the game's best ending. It's such a colorful RPG that, in my opinion, it needs a full-on remake that players of today can appreciate. The third game I want remade is Dino Crisis. Now, this game was unofficially labeled as Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs, like Velociraptors and the T-Rex. Like the Resident Evil games, you can walk, run, turn, push, climb objects, shoot your gun, solve puzzles, combine medical items to make more powerful ones, and there are also the scary corners where a raptor jumps out to attack you, plus other elements you'd see from a survival horror game. Although Capcom was pretty much marketing this as a panic horror game, the similarities between the Resident Evil series were too obvious. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this is an amazing game. The dinosaurs are way smarter than zombies and things can get messy really quick. There are so many incredible things I like about this game and I know it will take a ton of work to do a remake, but if you look at what they did with Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, I'm sure Capcom should have a template of sorts to make it happen. I mean, who doesn't want to see you being eviscerated by raptors or being eaten by a T-Rex in glorious 8K at 120 frames per second, right? Please make it happen, Capcom. The fourth game that I want remade is Silent Hill. Again, another survival horror game in the list, but if you've played the original games as I have, you would know that this redefine the survival horror genre by adding a whole new element to it. 
While Resident Evil focused on zombies and Dino Crisis on dinosaurs, Silent Hill places a huge emphasis on the environment, the lighting, the atmosphere to create a spooky, scary, one-of-a-kind experience. It uses a more psychological style of horror that messes you up mentally and emotionally instead of the mindless undead that plagues you or chases you as you play the game. But yes, there are still weird creatures you have to face. Most of all, unlike Resident Evil and Dino Crisis, the protagonist here is an everyday man. Doesn't really have formal combat training, just someone who gets mixed up with the wrong crowd and has to survive. Playing Silent Hill games makes you really take in and appreciate the surroundings. So just imagine if you they do this for the next generation consoles with an enormous amount of detail like creepy sounds, foggy environments in amazing 4K or 8K graphics. Yes, please. That would be so awesome. And the good thing is the rumor mill on this game being remade is on overdrive till there is a high chance Silent Hill gets its much deserved remake. The fifth game I want remade is Galarians. If Dino Crisis was Resident Evil with dinosaurs, Galarians is Resident Evil, but instead of guns, you use your psychic powers to combat enemies. The controls are pretty similar to any survival horror game, although it uses a tank control scheme where pressing up makes the character move forward and pressing down makes him backpedal, which can be slightly confusing. However, it does make up for the unique action and gameplay. Ryan, I'd say, is like a Jean Grey type of character as he uses telepathic abilities to kill enemies, solve puzzles, or understand the story. The cool and scary thing about him is there's a meter called the absorption points which goes up when Ryan takes damage, uses his powers, or is under stress. It's kind of like the limit break and it basically kills all enemies in a single blow. Again, this is probably one of those games that flew under the radar and will probably never get remade. But I salivate over the prospect of having bodies blown up in full 4K mode if ever it does happen. The sixth game I want remade is Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Okay, so there's probably no shortage of assassin type of games today like Assassin's Creed and even Ghosts of Tsushima, but I can't really find a pure ninja stealth type of game today that compares to Tenchu Stealth Assassins. I would argue that this game basically started the ninja stealth genre. The gameplay is really incredible as the game really compels you to act like ninjas. You use grappling hooks, you throw knives like kunai or shurikens, you use smoke bombs, caltrops and so on and so forth, and you will likely spend most of your time on the rooftop waiting for the perfect time to strike. But the thrill of doing so is really unmatched. Like most games on this list, I am dying to see an updated modern day version of this game using the full power of the PS5. The seventh game I want remade is Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. This is one of the games I was pretty addicted to because it's so unique. On the surface, it seems like a vampire in his quest for revenge, but in reality, it is really a dark game with an incredible story amazing voice acting, and I would say pretty differentiated gameplay mechanics. In the game, you basically cannot die because you are a spectra. You can switch between the physical and spectral realms at all times, and I think that's one of the coolest things you can do in the game. Story-wise, you are basically out for revenge against your master who made you a spectra in the first place, and also against your brothers who watched you die or even had a hand in throwing you to your doom. It spawned multiple sequels and ran in parallel to the Legacy of Cain Blood Omen series, but I think this is the best among all of them. I long for the day that we see a remade version of this with incredible graphics, but that's likely never going to happen. The eighth game I want remade is Parasite Eve 2. This is also one of those unique games because it is a combination of RPG and action adventure. It follows the story of police officer Aya Brea as she attempts to stop a villain who wants to destroy the human race through spontaneous human combustion. Intriguing? Its action elements include being able to roam around and investigate your surroundings with limited or fixed camera movements, kind of like the Resident Evil 1 game, 
when you encounter enemies, there is no battle screen or mode. Instead, you just jump right in, which means you can avoid them or plan your strategy as you see enemies. You can also aim at enemies with ranged weapons and plan your attack. The RPG elements in this game include a leveling up system which allows you to choose which abilities to prioritize. Again, this is one of those different type of games you play that has a pretty compelling story and engaging gameplay. I don't know if this will ever get a remake, but it does deserve one. The ninth game I want remade is either Mega Man Legends 1 or 2 or both. While most of us have probably played the 2D platform side-scrolling Mega Man games, this Mega Man is very different from that one as this is in 3D action-adventure mode. This is one of those quirky or weird games that you play that really work and is so enjoyable. Like any action-adventure game, you can move around your environment, control your camera, and use lock-on targeting. In the 2D Mega Man games, you needed to beat bosses to get their powers, but in Mega Man Legends, your buster gun depends on the buster parts equipped, which can raise your attack, the firing rate, the range, and the energy. It actually has a wide range of customization options, and the game rewards you by exploring your surroundings or the various dungeons to get these customization parts. It is a shoot 'em up run and gun type of game. It has a lot of funny characters and it focuses a lot on exploration, which is pretty fun to do. I am okay if either Mega Man Legends 1 or 2, or preferably both, are remade because I both enjoy them thoroughly. But so far, there is no news yet, so let's not get our hopes up. The 10th and final game I want remade is Metal Gear Solid. There's a reason I kept this last because this game is the one I am most excited about getting a remake among all the games in this list. And most of all, it's the game that is most likely to be truly remade. Metal Gear Solid pioneered and popularized stealth video games. It is the OG without question. But it also did a fantastic job delivering memorable cinematic cutscenes, stealth mechanics, while also weaving in philosophical and political themes, a dystopian reality all in one amazing game. And of course, who can forget the memorable characters, notably the villains? It was truly a genre-defining game. Now imagine all of that in glorious 8K 120 frames per second, incredible sounds, and a game detail that fully utilizes the power of the PS5. That would be phenomenal. You could argue that every single Metal Gear Solid game has been incredible, but the very first one, or the OG, remains an all-time unassailable classic and therefore should be remade immediately. The exciting thing is it's probably on the way, so look out for an announcement soon. So that's my list of games that need to be remade in my opinion. I know some of them will likely never be remade unless I start my own game developer company and remake some of them myself, but hey, again, a guy can dream. Please help me out by subscribing, liking this video, saying hi in the comments, and hitting that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.